this is a show special edition on a monday night ready to get into some sports talk we got a great show planned for today we do have some guests lined up but we're going to be recapping the weekend of the alliance of american football that's why the title of the show is aaf started something big or nah also talking nba college basketball boxing we got ufc 234 also, we'll have guests 
Tucker, Dale Booth, and Paul Davis. Also, we'll be taking your calls at the end of the show. So stick around. We'll be rocking till 9 Central Time. So in the last 30 minutes of the show, we'll be taking calls. Also, we'll be doing the Benny Awards at the end of the show. So first off, let me give a shout out to the listeners in the chat room. Thank you guys for tuning in. Miss Mocha Bella in the building first. Mo Cheese, my man H-Rap B. Chief Rocker comes in the building saying Tar Heels are down, Ben. I know that. I know that already. But we'll bounce back. Don't worry about that. I'll keep you guys updated on the score. Or you can keep me updated on the score. Uh, whatever you feel. But uh, 38-32 right now in the second period. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. But we got some news that was coming out today. We got a lot of news that was released. A lot of things that we need to talk about. Shout out to the networks, X Squad Radio Network. Appreciate the support as always. Also, my fam over at the No Phony Podcast Network. Also, if you're interested in getting your own BS3 sports shirt or hoodie or whatever kind of shirt you want, uh, we can make it happen. So do not forget the shirts are available. If you want one, I can definitely get one for you in whatever size that you need. So let's get into some of the topics. Clemson. This this was a weird story that came out. This is a weird story that came out basically saying Dabo Swinney says Clemson may have accidentally given players a banned substance. First of all, how do you accidentally give somebody a banned substance? That part I did not understand. That part kind of caught me off guard. I don't know how you can accidentally do that. Everybody makes mistakes. I get that. Uh, and they still won the national championship. But that one kind of caught me by surprise. I wanted to kind of touch on that first. Uh, we'll touch on some of the stories, obviously, from the weekend. Hence, the weekend wrap-up show. So, we'll be touching on different topics. But, yeah, that one kind of caught me off guard. I don't know how that happened. Uh, that's the interesting verbiage, the way that that was put. But... Clemson still won the national championship. Even with accidentally doing something wrong, they still won the national championship. And they continue to seem to be the Alabama killer is, is what it's looking like with them. And they've been able to do it for two national championships. So hopefully Dabo gets his, his situation together, gets his doctors together, get whoever that he needs to get together so that this does not end up being another issue. Um, and I want to give a shout out to DJ Knox. DJ Knox just had a great show. After this show's over, go back and listen to it. It was a tribute to Whitney Houston, also played some Kelly Rowland. He did a great job, so big ups to DJ Knox. With a great show. Uh, Mochi says, I was saving that story, BS3. How do you accidentally have a banned substance just laying around to accidentally give the kids in first place? I, I, that's what I'm saying. How does that happen? And Dabo Swinney's not a dumb individual. This isn't this isn't somebody that you would you would suspect to make a mistake like this. So I have to admit that that completely caught me off guard. And I would ask, was he trying to sabotage the team? But they still won. Shout out to KC in the building. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you follow all of these people. Make sure you follow X Squad Radio if you're not already doing that so you can be on top of all the, the great content that's on here. Uh, tomorrow we will have Chief Rocker in the morning. I'll be coming on after Chief Rocker with the Dope Music Podcast as well as HRIB will be coming on after me. All of these guys are in the chat room. KC coming on Thursdays at 8 Central, 9 Eastern. So make sure, you, make sure that you are here and that you follow XY Radio for all the content. So, yeah, 
Dabo, I don't know what Dabo was doing on this one. I, I really am confused about what Dabo was thinking and what Dabo was doing in this whole situation. For him to even be involved in this, to me, is a weird story. Sorry, Mo. Uh, uh, you said you were saving that. Sorry that you uh, I brought that up, but I had to mention that because that was definitely something that completely caught me off guard. He owed that young man two games. That's a shame. That's that's that, oh, so that's the kid that ended up getting suspended. I didn't I didn't even correlate the, the, that together, but that does make sense now. That's not cool at all. Other news: Kyler Murray has announced that he will be going in the NFL draft. Not only is he going in the NFL draft, but he has decided to fully commit to the NFL. Fully commit to the NFL. Now, I wanted to break it down for you with the numbers. Details on Kyler's decision. He has to return $1.29 million dollars of the one and a half million that the A's gave him. Also, shout out to Kevin Clutch Talk Sports. Had a great show this morning. I was listening as I was commuting. Uh, but he gives up also the remaining 3.16 million that was going to be due March 1st. The A's will put him on a restricted list, retain his rights, but don't get a compensation draft pick. Here's the thing about this Kyler Murray situation. I think he made uh, the best decision for him. What works best for Kyler Murray? And in this situation, in this situation, he did what, what he wanted to do. Now, here's the thing though. If he somehow gets hurt, um, that would be tragic. I do not wish that on him. I hope that that does not happen. But this is football, and this kid is 5'6", like a buck 90, soaking wet with a football in his hand. So that is a concern. That is a huge concern for me. I don't want the kid to get hurt. I don't want him to be um, in any position where he's going to lose money. Now, I think that also that means I think the baseball door is still open. The baseball door is still open. I don't think that that is not completely closed. If he decides that the football thing isn't working out, I think he could come back. So, I wish the best for Kyler Murray. I think he has opportunity to to ball out in the league. Chief says, Ben, don't be the, the miss of death. I'm not wishing anything bad on him. Carolina is up by one. Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Appreciate any other comments of the Tarios. I appreciate that. Keep talking. Um, on to some NFL, other NFL news. Travis Frederick is near full health after losing the season with Guia Beret syndrome. This is huge news. This is huge news. For him, for his health, for his future. Um, and if he is back to full strength, you can definitely return from this injury. He can return from this injury. Um, there's other players that have done it. Mark Slareth is one player in particular that was out. I think he missed a year or two. He came back. Oh, you talking about the kiss of death? No, I'm not gonna give him the kiss of death. I think he, I think he's gonna be able to do something in the NFL. So, Travis Frederick looks like he's about to come back strong. I'm looking forward to him being able to get on the field. I know he's looking forward to getting on the field. The just the 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 stress the anxiousness of wanting to get back on the field I know he's 100% looking forward to getting back and I can't wait to see him back on the field and I know a lot of Cowboys fans can't wait to see him back on the field and I think he 
deserves